In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to compress or expand time in your video. This will result either in fast motion or slow motion. So let me show you easily how to do that. We're going to take this clip I have of some girls playing outside at a church activity and put it down on track number one. Now I'm going to click on the Tools option and click Power Tools. We have one option called Video Speed. I'll click on that and then click on my Speed Adjustment. If I move over here, we see the whole thing. It opens up a window where I can change the speed of the entire clip or a selected range. Let's do it the more difficult way and, and choose a selected range in my clip. Now I want to create on the button that says Create Time Shift. So I'll create that, and now we'll, it will do a window down here. And I can take the window and I can move it any, any way I want. I can drag it to the right and lengthen it. And you watch these numbers change. Right now it's 26 seconds, 25 frames, or I can shorten it. Uh, so I have a start point, an end point, and this tells me my duration. I can also uh, affect the speed of it. So let's say I want to speed this up. I can move my mouse or I can click here and go very precisely on what I want to do in terms of time. Let's make it uh, roughly five times faster than normal. And we'll go ahead and um, try this in the preview window and you'll see the difference. And there we go, back to normal speed. So that's that's basically all it takes to do that. If you want to right click on it, you can remove the time shift by clicking there and it's back to normal. Now let's show, go the other way. Uh, let's create a different one. I'll click on create time shift and it automatically defaults to the same time. I'll lengthen it and let's slow this down. Let's take it down to, um, let's see, if, maybe a third of normal speed. This will result in apparent slow motion. So I'm going to uh, take my scrubber and move it back over here. And uh, now we'll play it. It'll be slightly on normal time and then it'll slow down. This results in very distorted audio. Uh, but uh, it does give you a, a chance to go ahead and do slow motion if you have a big action area that you want. I'll stop that and let's see if I can move it forward to where there's some uh, some movement here. Let's take this uh, whole, uh, whole part and move it to where the, one of the girls is at least running here. And uh, okay, let's go back here. And then now we've got this in slow motion. So there we have. And you can slow it down to almost nothing if you want to. Let's take this speed multiplier and make it even slower. I'll go back to the beginning of my shift area and click on this. And so you can adjust it either fast or slow for the entire range. I'll remove that. Or you can just click on the entire clip. Sometimes if you have a clip that you want to just slightly adjust because you're short on time, uh, you, can, you can increase the multiplier just a fraction over one. And it, and, it, and it may not affect the audio very much if you don't do it too much. Or you might have to do a, a, an audio track on top of it. But then if I go ahead and start to play this, you won't notice much difference. And it's just speed it up by about 20% uh, here. And so it gives me the new duration of the video. If I need to buy myself a few seconds uh, on one end or the other without distorting it too much, this is where I can go and I can speed it up. 
So you have several options when it comes to uh, doing a time shift either faster or slower for a segment of your clip or for the entire clip. Mm -hmm.